Hi guys, happy Friday. Uh, today is November 6th of 2020. And I wanted to talk about an individual that I just can't stomach because this person is so evil. Her name is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And, you know, usually when she's speaking and, and I see something on the news or something online, her, you know, what comes out of her mouth is such a vermin. I can't even stand to keep watching it. And she's so evil. She's 100% satanic. Um, and, you know, these satanics think they're so high and mighty and so smart. Um, but the only way they win is by being sneaky, underhanded, fraudulent, deny, 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 as they stab people in the back, on the background backstabbing people. I mean, that's how they, that's how they live their lives. And so I saw something online, which I'm not surprised at, because we know these Democrats laugh in the face of God through their atheism and satanic ways. We know this. And that's the right. That's the right as citizens. But at the end of the day, when you have a place in government and you're supposed to represent the people and you're spewing hate against God and against our president, and comparing Jesus Christ to President Trump saying they're both frauds. Not only are you a detriment to our country, but because of that, it makes you completely unsuitable for government. I mean, I'd like to run, I'd like to run as a representative or something. And I have things in my past that were not my fault, but because I couldn't have proper, <laughs> uh, I couldn't have someone, I couldn't pay someone to represent me. I just had to go with what they were telling me because I was being threatened. And there was absolutely no proof of what I was being accused of, except for a few, few DUIs, I'm gonna admit. <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna admit that. But um, anyways, I wish, I wish I could um, help our country um, and so when I hear this evil witch talking this way against Jesus Christ and our president um, she's just so far out there let me, let me just say something to this woman, Alexandria. This is a Christian nation. There's people in, the, in, in this country that have belief systems and we have to put up with your guys' belief systems. The fact that you guys exist, Hollywood exists, and you guys are all sick and twisted, that's one thing. But when you're gonna go and spew that hate Um, and then you guys go out of your way to censor us, to fight, and to remove Christianity from our lives, and we fight back. You know, it, it's just a constant, constant, constant fight of, of, of good against evil. Because whether you like it or not, God created you. God created you. He created you and he could take you out. And that's why on my Twitter and on my TMZ, uh, my TMZ, what is it called? Um, account. I say on my Twitter, there's a spiritual war, spiritual war that's been going on between good and evil. God's never lost. So I want you to remember that. Uh, Alexandria 
God's never lost. Um, so this is the thing. We can put up with living with you guys because we have, we don't have a choice. And we know that you guys are degenerates. You're evil. You're scum. You're the low of the low. And you guys are constantly hating on us. Just leave us alone. Go believe what you want to believe. But when you guys get caught for trafficking and killing children and for drug sm smuggling and money laundering and all this stuff that you guys do on the back end, don't come crying and hating our president um, and try to blame it on him. But I'm going to tell you something that I know because I have a, a close relationship with Jesus Christ. And with the way I talk and maybe the way I look and the way I dress would, wouldn't even maybe indicate that, the way I talk sometimes when I get mad at you evil, disgusting individuals. But I also have a gift that the divine has given me. And one thing I do know is I know President Trump is a gift from God. And he sent, he was sent to bring our country back to, to glory as God's chosen land. He embodies many of the qualities of Christ and speaks his word through America. In these times, we need that word more than ever. And we are thankful we have this president to deliver it. And it is so obvious Trump is Jesus' messenger before his return. And, you know, President Trump may not have even known. I mean, he's been told this. But just because he's been told this, there is a period where he, he had no idea. I was told uh, years and years ago that I had a gift by a very well-known gifted psychic who would predict murders and stuff. And I had went to her because of some boyfriend issues. <laughs> and um, sometimes when you have a gift or you are a chosen one in whatever capacity that, that is, you may not even know it. And she told me, you are more psychic than you even know. Um, and I feel that God has tenderized my mind, heart, and soul. And I've matured in that gift, grown into that gift. It's become more and more powerful through my life. Um, so, Alexandria, you know, saw it to be fit to mock our president, you know, speaking with our intern, Sandy Bat. Now, she at first appeared to be agreeing with similar similarities between Jesus Christ and Donald Trump. But then her speech took a turn for the worst. She says, I hear many people say that President Trump embodies the virtue and mortality of Jesus Christ. You know, I have to agree. Trump and Jesus are a lot alike, Alexandria said. They're both con artists who duped millions into believing their bullshit. Well, let me tell you, Alexandria, I don't normally say this, but God does speak to to individuals in this life, in this in this country, in this world. Some people are gifted that way. Um, and it, you know, this, this crazy, I just want to curse so bad. This crazy bee is so disrespectful. I just don't even know how she got in government, how she, how she got in office. Oh, I know because the whole deep state, they all support her, they're all frauds. So it's so funny because these people are always, and I've said it a million times, these evil people are always pointing fingers and projecting onto others what they in fact are. 
Um, and let me tell you something. I have, I have more respect for a porn star than I do this bitch. As long as that porn star isn't into, into, into trafficking or pedophilia or any of that other stuff. I have more respect for a porn star than this bitch. I can't even stand this bitch. Um, so then she goes on to say, look at Trump. His followers are a cult. I mean, she doesn't even know what a cult means. Um, Alexandria, look up what a cult means. You, are, again, are, are pointing fingers saying exactly what you are. You can't even think for yourself. You're owned by communists. Um, she goes, look at his followers. They're a cult. They blindly believe everything he says and thinks he's flawless. It's pathetic. No, Alexandria, I'm not like you. I, I do my research. I can see for myself and differentiate between right and wrong, between good and evil, between facts and BS. Um, nobody owns me except Jesus Christ the Lord God our Savior and and that will never change and you know 2,000 years ago a man named Jesus did exactly the same thing she says he convinced his own cult he was the son of God of, of all things he didn't convince anybody he is he is and they, they, they made you um, she goes how ridiculous is that how can you believe this, the son of something that doesn't exist? It's hilarious. What do you mean it doesn't exist? You weren't there. You sound like Brianna Keller of CNN. Just because you guys don't know about something or you, you refuse to acknowledge it or you, you don't have the capacity to, uh, to tap into that spirituality or spiritually speaking doesn't mean it doesn't exist. So the joke's on you, bitch. Um, I just got to say it. Um, she's so scandalous. Uh, and foaming of the mouth. I mean, this this Alexandria, I think she invented foaming of the mouth. Um, and she goes on to say, Trump's followers are generally God believers as well. They are the easiest to manipulate. So guys, this is why I, I said in my other video, um, these, these Democrats don't know how to be hu humane, human-like. They see any type of, of, of kindness or generosity or thankfulness, being thankful as a weakness because they're sick. Their, their minds are, 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 are wired that way. They're wired that way. And if you ask me, my opinion, I see that as a disability. I see that as, as a deficit within the human psyche, within the human spirit, within the human being of existence. They have a, a, such an extreme deficit. I, 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 I wanna call it like a, a disability and there's nothing wrong with people with disabilities. My uncle had a disability. He was way smarter than this bitch. Um, and but these people have a disability. It's called being evil as hell, being criminal, and just being like lying all the time. Like it's like deny, 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 lie, 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 um, nothing new. Business as usual. So we're talking about the biggest, most evil criminals in the world, okay? So we can't deal with these people like we deal with each other. You know, some people appreciate people being thankful, um, being generous being honorable. These people, they see that, they see you as being the lowest form of human of, of humanity. So our Republicans can't treat these devils like they're regular human beings. You gotta treat them like they're bitches. And this is the way it's gonna be and that's it. I mean, you can kind of not go that hard, but basically just be like, look, A, B, C, D, that that's that's the case all right i'm sorry the 
this is a wrap. Like, we can't treat these people like they're people. So, like, Alexandria, you, you gotta treat these, you guys gotta sock it to them. Like, the way Donald, Donald Trump Jr. was talking on Fox last night, that's the way you gotta treat these bitches. Um, so, um, then she, then she goes on to say, um, Trump's followers are generally God believers as well. They're God believers. They're the easiest to manipulate. After all, people who believe in talk, talking snakes and talking bushes and magical daddies in the sky who can do and know everything are obviously not the brightest people. Jesus was a grifter. Trump is the same. Only idiots follow either of them. Now, this is outright blasphemy. This woman has no goddamn place in government as she holds values that are completely opposed to what we hold dear as Americans. She needs to be removed this instant. If I could replace her, I would replace her. I just don't know how to go about that. If I could run, be in government, I would do it. I would love to work for President Trump's administration doing anything. That's how much I love my country. Um, so I just wanted to let people know that these Democrats guys are so evil. It's so upsetting. And we, like again, we, we talk with these devils, you know, when um, I know there has to be a sense of diplomacy, d d diplomacy, um, and you know respect but we can't treat them like we treat regular republicans you gotta just let them know how it's gonna be and that's it you know I, again kind of treat them like the bitches they are but again do it in a balanced way you can't be nice to these people because then they'll try to you know give you a guilt trip when they don't get their way and then we believe that they're they really have good intentions when they don't they're the most manipulative and she just said we're easy to manipulate and do you know how many times i've been duped in my life because when i'm not on camera i've been told i've been too nice i'm too nice of a person um blah 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 but after years of gang stalking it kind of a part of me kind of learned how not to be so soft so nice to everybody so thankful just as you can't always assume everybody is 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 like you or you're the people that you love um so yeah these democrats guys don't give them your best face you treat them for what they are you you deal with them on that level there's no more oh you know this was just a nice, nice meeting we had today. Thank you so, no, fuck that, no. Um, if I could replace Alexandria, I would do it in a heartbeat. If I could be a representative, I'd be a representative in a heartbeat. Um, I, I just can't believe that trash, that evil. And the way she talks publicly is so toxic. I, like I said, I can't even stand watching her when I see her online. And she, I knew she was so evil. And I didn't even know about, she said this. I didn't even know about it until like moments ago. So guys, let's see these Democrats for what they are. And let's let's treat them accordingly. Because they're looking for every every chance to, to, to deceive us, to backstab us, to, to, to dupe us with something, to lie to us while they do more criminality in the background, change laws, smile in our face, and they do more criminality in the background. No, that's that, those days are over. All right, guys. God bless you guys. Let's, let's Republicans stick together. Lindsey Graham, good work. Ted Cruz, great work. Matt Gates, Vernon, Ben Carson, all you guys, and all the other ones I don't quite know. You guys are Americans heroes. You guys are superstars. 
I'm so impressed. I'm, I, I love you guys so much. And I'm very proud of Donald Trump Jr. saying it how it needs to be said. And these people in the communist media can't handle it. They can't handle it. Too goddamn bad. Because there's more of that where that came from. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Let's take care of each other as Republicans. Let's fight for our country and let's stand up to this voter fraud. All right, guys. See you next time on the next video.